Happy Sunshine Family. I was watching one of today's videos from Richie in Boston. It's the one Demons Directed Energy and Bullshit is what it's called. Uh, I was just reading through the comments and saw this one from Warrior for Yeshua. Richie from Boston, massive earthquake drill in Cali or California at 1019 on 1019, which is 911 backwards twice. Look up the great California earthquake drill called Shakeout. No coincidences and alert people about this in FEMA, Red Cross, a.k.a. Rothschilds. Rothschild means Red Cross. In the USGS or the United States Geological Survey, three more as sponsors. All across America, look at Enter the Stars, Reloaded. He has more info on the American money as to what more proof where you all are. Praise Jesus. Yeah, okay. So <clears throat> I looked up this uh, earthquake drill and I just typed in 1019 California earthquake drill and... Uh, Oregon is also participating in this. So this is California and Oregon. The great Oregon shakeout. Clackamas County is participating in an earthquake drill called the Great Shakeout at 1019 a.m. on October 19th, 2017. Uh, you know what? I, I'm also noticing that the timestamp on this video is... 311, which is the reverse of 113, and we need to head over to the Gematronator website, and I'm going to show you that Dishonest is 113 in English Ordinal, Mainstream is 113, and... Let's pop over to, hmm, can't quite remember how to spell it. Here it is. So the Baba Kaba, Baba Kama section 113 A I believe it is this is something interesting right here highlighted where a suit arises between an Israelite and a heathen, if you can justify the former according to the laws of Israel, justify him and say, this is our law. So also, if you can justify him by the laws of the heathens, justify him and say to the other party, this is your law. But if this cannot be done, we use subterfuges to circumvent him. Now, according to our Akiba, the whole reason appears to be because of the sanctification of the name. But were there no infringement on the sanctification of the name, we would circumvent him. Um, what this is saying is that they're giving themselves permission in this religious text in section 113 that it's okay to lie to other people. <clears throat> And interesting how 113, which gives permission to lie, has a gematria that matches dishonest and matches mainstream. So I haven't watched these videos yet, but let's actually let's take a let's just watch it live right now. We all know and 
appreciate how beautiful our county is. But it's essential that we all remember that this area is prone to earthquakes. We live in earthquake country. I've worked in the field of disaster preparedness for over 20 years. And let me tell you, knowing what to do when the ground starts shaking is very important. It really can make the difference in reducing your risk of injury. Here's how you can prepare. Your limited experience with earthquakes may give you a false sense of safety. Perhaps you did nothing or ran outside and you survived with no injuries. You may even have crawled under a desk and later felt you overreacted. You likely have never experienced the intense shaking that's possible from a strong earthquake. Back and forth motion of several feet per second can cause the ground to jerk out from under you, potentially sending airborne every unsecured object around you. This is why you need to learn to immediately protect yourself after that first jolt and not wait to see if the earthquake will be strong. Rescue teams dispatched to seismic events around the world all agree that drop, cover, and hold on is the appropriate action to reduce injury and even death during an earthquake. When the shaking begins, drop onto your hands and knees. This position protects you from falling and allows you to move if necessary. Cover your head, neck, and your entire body if possible under a sturdy table or desk. Hold on to your shelter until the shaking stops and be prepared to move with your shelter if the shaking shifts it around. If there is no table or desk nearby, go to an interior wall or low-lying furniture and cover your head and neck with your arms and hands. If you are driving, coast to the side of the road stop and set the parking brake. Avoid bridges and stay inside the vehicle until the shaking stops. If you use a wheelchair or have mobility impairments, set the wheel lock, bend forward, and protect your head and neck with your arms or a pillow. If you're in bed, stay put, hold on to the bed, and protect your head with a pillow. While images of collapsed structures and earthquakes can be frightening, most buildings in the United States do not collapse. Studies of injuries and deaths caused by earthquakes show that you're much more likely to be injured by falling or flying objects. Drop, cover, and hold on will help protect you from these injuries. You will be more likely to react quickly when shaking begins if you have actually practiced how to protect yourself. Millions of people will be practicing drop, cover, and hold on during the great shakeout. Join me and hundreds of thousands of Oregonians because practice Wow, there it is, 1019 at 1019 a.m. Shakeout, you know, I wonder, I wonder what shakeout comes to. Look at that, shakeout is 44. Watch this. Earthquake, earthquake is 44 in full reduction. Look what else is 44, kill. Kill is 44. Cancer, cancer's 44. Chemo, the quote unquote response to cancer, that's 44. When you think about police officers, officer, officer is 44. Shooting, shooting is 44. Are you guys seeing a pattern here? I'm really not liking what I'm seeing. We've got, we've got one night, you know, you take out the zero and 10, 19, and it's 119, which is 911 reversed. And the date is the same, 1019. Guys, this is, this is really blatant, and this has just got to get out. Please share this video. And if you're like me and live in this area, it's time to make sure that you've got food and water uh, stored up and that you're ready and prepared for, for anything. Uh, this, is, this is working with the feds to do a drill about earthquake response. And wow, look at all the gematria in there. Holy cow, guys, I'm blown away. Um, 
Wow. If you have any love lighter links for me, send them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E at protonmail.com. Uh, I am, I'm going to head out to the store and do some errands. All right. I love you guys a lot. Peace out.